You have been traveling your Minecraft world for ages and you found some amazing terrain, but it's kind of bumpy. There's not really enough space to build everything you need. What you need is a fairly compact base, not a tiny one, but a fairly compact one. Well, you are in luck. I'm going to show you how to do it right now. Don't you go anywhere. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, and welcome to another video from me, Avamance, and thank you for watching. We're not going to be building a house today, no, and neither are we going to be doing a farm tutorial, or a let's play, or anything like that, no, today, we're going to build a blooming base, a whole base, yep, we're all going to do a base, and it's not going to be one of these super efficient three by three bases, no, that because that's cobblers, we're going to do a base that's got some substance, it's going to be a fairly decent sized base, I do wonder if this might end up being a two episode deal, I'll know by the end of this first episode, and probably you already know, because it will be called part one, but anyway, we're going to get on with it in just a second, but before that, make sure you bash the like button, because look, the sheep is telling you to bash the like button, yes you are, alright, we'll go away then sheep, Bash the like button because then I know that you are enjoying the videos and I can keep making them. Also, if you haven't done it already, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well. And if you've done that, maybe you'd like to hit the notifications bell because then you will never miss another video from me. You'll get notified every time I release one. In fact, go and do that to all your favourite YouTubers. They will be very, very grateful. Enough of me talking. Let's go and do this base. Now, this base does not need a nice flat surface to be built on. In fact, it looks kind of cool when the terrain is just a little bit wobbly. So what you want to do is get yourself a grid. It's a 33 by 33 grid and you are marking it out five by five, nine between each block. So if you can imagine that that block there is block one, then it goes two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And then that's block one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, etc. So you've got five and then by five. Now you don't have to put, you know, brick to mark this out. You could literally put any block you like because it is just a marker. And once you've got that, you can start to build. First off, you want to find your highest point. And your highest point is obviously, for me, just about here. So this is the highest point of all of these blocks. And I want to get on here a block of oak wood and on top of that oak wood we're going to make a tower that is too high okay so it's too high and then what you want to do is you want to find the next highest and hopefully if it's down, now down one block which most often it will be if you're building a base like this you want to get one of these on every block that is one lower than where your first block started so these are all one lower because they're on the next platform down you can see that and on this one we want to put three high because that means that that brings it level two three one two three and then continue that for the whole area making sure that every time you drop down one you do one higher on your still I'll be back when I've done that and when you're done it will look a little bit like a load of trees that have lost all their leaves but look all the same height so it should look something like that and if it does you've done it right and if it doesn't have a quick check and see what you've done wrong. Now, all you need to do now is top each one off with the same block that you had at the bottom. So if you've used oak wood, top each one off with oak wood, like this. Just like that. And then in between all of these oak woods, we're gonna create just around the outside bit, not the inside bit, we're going to create more oak wood. So we're basically going to line it with oak wood all the way along. So you follow this as well. So we've got a complete ring and that is going to be the size of our base. How awesome is that? And then fill it all in with some wood. So I'm going to use oak wood. I'm going to fill in the entirety of the middle all the way along. Let's do this. Now when you get to these legs that is in the middle and we put a wood block on top of that, get rid of the wood block and make it planks. I don't know what I was thinking to tell you to put a wood block on that. It is all about getting planks on those. So ignore my first instruction. I went completely mad. Stick it as planks all the way around so the entire platform looks exactly the same. Let's get this finished. 
that's an awesome platform but it's going to be very dark underneath there and the last thing you want is loads of growling going on whilst you're having your tea in your base so don't forget to stick a little bit of light in here now i'm going to use glowstone simply because it's dead easy and it gives off loads of light but obviously you could use torches if you wanted to absolutely no problem just make sure whatever you do it is nice and light in here so that you don't get anything about to either blow up your base or just moan a lot which is really really irritating you know and you get all those zombies going all over the place underneath your base that would be awful we don't want that so i'm lining it up just like this so we've got plenty of light under there. We're not going to have any nasties coming anywhere near us from underneath. And the next thing you need to do with this gorgeous platform is you need to decide which bit you're going to enter the platform from. So are you going to enter the platform down a maybe a long set of stairs, which will be up at the long tall edge, or are you going to enter the platform from a shorter bit? Now for me personally, for this one, I'm going to enter the platform from a shorter bit. And we're going to do it. It's a three wide set of stairs. So it's one, two, three. And then this bit here is going to be the bit that remains. So I'm just going to mark that with that. We're going to take those three out. And that is just going to remind us that that is where the entrance is going to be. And the entrance is only going to indent that far. And we'll put another one there. So as we've got a nice mark exactly where our entrance is going to be. Very, very simple. So that's going to be the stairs. Now we want to work on what is going to be our base. Now we've got a few choices because we've got a massive, massive area with what we're going to do here. Now I'm going to put my main living space at the back here, which means it's kind of close to the back of this mountain. So you've got a good view out the back of the mountain. Now you want to come at least one in from the edge so i recommend coming in one in right there and we're going to make this so one two three four five six seven eight nine and then one two three four five six seven eight nine and again two three four five six seven eight nine and then come in one two three four five six seven eight and nine so you should have something that looks a little bit like that rectangle and we're going to build these up for high pretty classic start to what we would consider to be a house build i think so hopefully you'll be very used to doing this so we're going to have four high all the way around then inside these so not there but there we're going to do a row of cobblestone now i like cobblestone as an inner row and we've not decided exactly where our door is going to go yet so make a complete row of cobblestone the entire inside okay so now that looks awesome so we are now going to bring some cross struts in because we want this um, to start to have a little bit of structure so we're going to use again the oak wood to create cross structs now we're not going to keep all of this because some of this is going to come out we're going to put kind of like a dormer front on the bit on this building just to make it look a little bit more contoured but as it stands at the moment we're just building out these struts to give us a bit of a guide it's the way i work i tend to need to guide myself around exactly where i'm going with the build because sometimes they kind of run away with themselves i don't know if you've ever done that when you've been building a building where it started in one direction and you've ended up going in a completely completely different direction irrelevant of how much planning has put into it now I put a lot of planning into this particular build but already I've started to go off piece a little bit which is not unheard of for me okay now we're gonna get some where's my stone brick there's my stone brick so we're gonna get some stone brick and we're gonna bring the stone brick in a complete line across the front and the sides again now remember we're not going to keep this like this this is not going to be a multi type of stone box with no entrance because that would be absolutely ridiculous this is just me building a contoured structure if you want to start to leave gaps for doors and windows at this point you do it um, certainly it's slightly more efficient in survival but again I'm not entirely sure how this is going to work out because we're going to give it a lot more texture yet okay so now I can start to think right, what do I want to do with this so I want to build out a gable front and I want that gable front to be kind of in the middle so we need to count how many uh, blocks we've got here so we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen blocks counting with avo yet again so if we come in five blocks one two three four five and put one there and then come in from the other end one two three four five and put one there we should have three in the middle one two three and we have got three in the middle which is great because that means that we can have a single door but we don't want it right next to that we want it to come out two so we're creating a gable front on here so that's going to come up 
the same number as that is. That's going to come up the same number as that is. We're also going to bring these up as well. And we're going to connect up the front like that. So you can see the house is starting to get a little bit more of a structure and we've uh, got to now fill in exactly the same as the rest of the walls. We've got to fill in here and here with the cobble financially drive there we go and we're also going to put a cobble not in the middle but on either side here but we're going to leave that hole and then we're going to get the stone brick and again duplicate what we've got on the rest of the walls with the stone brick like that which is awesome then we know what we can do we can get rid of this here because that is going to be our entrance you can see that's our entrance there which is brilliant so we now need to decide what do we want to make that final row out of now you can do it in all kinds of different things and i do like the way wood and stone mix together so i'm going to bring in some oak wood planks and i'm going to fill across this entire row with oak wood planks now bear in mind again we're going to bring a lot more texture into this build this is just to get a bit of a structure so let's go all the way around here with the oak wood planks and once we've done that we're going to start to knock some holes in it because the holes are where the windows etc are going to go because we don't want to just have a box a box is boring nobody wants a box so let's get these bits out of the way bang there and also there now this is the bit where you kind of take a step back and you go right what do i think of this where should i put this where should i put that and it's normally in the middle it's generally where is a good place so i'm going to put a three window there I'm going to put a three window there. I'm going to bring another three window at the side. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that then. So let's put that cobble back there and that stone back there. I'm going to put just kind of two in. So one, two. I'm going to do another three wide window. I'm going to leave this completely blocky, I think, for now. And I'm going to put a three wide window in the middle of this one as well. So one, two and three now what this requires now is some steps so we're going to swatch out some stuff here and get some steps going now i don't going to put any steps at the bottom but i am going to put steps at the top like that so let's get some upside down oak step and we're going to do the same on all of the other windows See, now that's starting to look a little bit more like an airy house. We stick some steps in there and we've got something going now. So now we get some glass panes and we're going to fill in these windows. Perfect. Let's get rid of that. Get rid of that. Put that upside down there. That upside down like that because I much, much prefer having a window on the side here. It just looks so much nicer. So let's get that there and upside down steps right there so you can see how you put stuff in and then you take stuff out and you put stuff in you take stuff out and that is the way it generally works when you're building up these houses it just makes for a really nice way of doing it and but we've still got to do a lot more detailing on this house so let's get some stone brick stairs and wherever we've got cobble we're going to stick some stone brick stairs like that and like that and on here we're going to create kind of a cornery bit leave those two cobble bits like that for now and then we're going to come bring the stone all the way there. That's going to end up being a turny bit. And then that kind of blocks that off. So that looks really nice. I like the way that happens. And then do the same all the way around. So now this detail is really, really starting to come together. I'm really quite pleased with it. Now we need some cobble steps now. Where's my cobble steps? My cobble steps are already out. What are you talking about, you foolish man? And we're going to stick some cobble steps here to create... Um, a gable so we want it the right way round on there and the right way round on there now we're just going to have this as a very standard a frame we're not going to do anything too clever with this at the moment and you'll see we've got a single gap there in the middle so we can get our cobblestone block we need to get a cobblestone block on the top underneath there underpin that with a cobblestone step and that cobblestone block then becomes a cobblestone slab because that's much nicer we like that much better there we go so that is our steps 
um, used for a gable at that part there. We're also going to do exactly the same on the ends here. So you can see here we've got some really nice gable ends on the end of this house now. That looks awesome, the little pokey out bit across the top and the very, very small kind of front dormer there as well, which looks absolutely brilliant. Now we're going to get some steps, unsurprisingly, but we're going to use spruce, which is also, I suspect, unsurprising because spruce works really, really well when you uh, put it with this kind of cobble step. So we've got to get it the right way around and we're going to do that basically to create the rest of the roof. You can see here, we need to come all the way out here um, to connect up where we put, I'm really good at doing it upside down, aren't I? to connect up where we have got these cobblestone gables um, using spruce steps. So I like spruce steps. Now, some people don't like to use spruce steps. They use block or they use um, some kind of slab or they use a slab block combo. And I have to say, I like the way that looks very, very much. But for this particular build, it needs, for me, I think it needs some steps. So I'm just gonna do a relatively uniform uh, roof with this particular build. We'll make it look a little bit jazzy in a bit, but I think just for the sake of this roof now, let's get it with just steps all the way up to the apex. So let's finish that off. So the roof is nearly complete. We have left this kind of line that's equal to the middle of that particular dormery bit there, and we've not completed that at all. So what we're gonna now do is we're gonna get some spruce planks and we're gonna fill in spruce planks to that point. We're also gonna come up here and we're gonna fill in spruce planks to this point here and fill it in all the way along until it is complete exactly like that and then get some cobblestone slab and we're going to run the slab all the way along across the top to create a really nice roof ridge and then here we need to make it look like it goes so we're going to put a ridge that goes all the way along the middle bit as well which is going to include putting some stairs there and then what you can also do is come down here and at exactly the point in the middle of the roof we're going to put in some more steps that are cobble. So it creates, uh, a, it looks like a stripe, but it also creates for a nice effect. I really like the way that looks. It's a nice thin stripe across the middle of the roof of the house. And uh, it gives just another level of texture, another level of effect. Now we've got these gable ends to deal with now. Gable ends can always be just a little bit tricky because you never quite know what to do with them. Well, what I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna use the spruce wood again. So I'm gonna come across, fill out this little area there with spruce wood. I'm then gonna come across, leave the one in the middle out, go across there, come across, leave the one in the middle out, come across there like that. And then I'm gonna go one, two, three, and I'm gonna leave that hole like that and we're going to come through the hole we're going to get a pane of glass and we're going to put a pane of glass there and a pane of glass there and it creates a really nice upstairs window it's going to let in some light so it's not going to be completely dark but the contrast of those spruce wood planks against the actual oaky wood and the wood underneath and the stone and the pitch of that gable it all works really beautifully and i like it very much i recommend you use these mixed textures with these palettes because it works really well we now just have to do that on the other ones we're inside and you can see that actually we can't really see so we are going to put a little bit of light into this and i like glowstone for light inside now you don't have to use glowstone it's completely up to you but i like to put a row of glowstone all the way along the ridge of this roof it gives loads and loads of light inside also gives a really nice glow during the night time on the outside like that outside of that window it will look really really nice and then i'm going to put alongside that glowstone just to make it look so as it's complete a row of continue the wood plank exactly like this and that's gonna give a very uniform look to that roof from the inside because you don't kind of want stripes on the inside of your roof. It looks awesome on the outside, but it doesn't look so hot on the inside. So we're creating this spruce wood planking. It creates for a wider roof as well, which is nice. And then we're gonna get some spruce wood stairs. And just on this one here, to start with, we're gonna put a row of upside down spruce wood stairs. And then what we've got here is we've got a 
bit of an area that you can do really whatever you want to but what I want to do is put another row of upside down stairs because I want to keep this area on top of this oak wood open above it and as a transparent block an upside down stair won't count as if there is a block above it and that's going to be important for us in a little while when we fill this place up so upside down steps like that there you go so that is what the inside of the house looks like when you're done now we're not going to do any of the innards in terms of decorating or anything like that because that is going to come later what we're trying to do is get everything sorted out what we do need to do however is stick a door on and the door you use is entirely up to you i'm just in this occasion going to use an oak door because i've used an awful lot of spruce already on the roof and to use a spruce door i'm a little bit worried would be a bit too much so i'm using an oak door because there is enough contrast with the oak wood and it looks really nice contrasted with the spruce wood so what we're going to do is create another level yeah we're going to use the existing posts because it gives a really good continuity if you use the existing posts and we're going to stick a oak plank so as it, again it continues on with that wood look on each of these pre-existing struts on the top along like this and then we're going to come along one more so you can see we've come along two but gone the entire width of the other one we're then going to use again um, the struts underneath so we've got a strut there so you can see we've got secondary struts over where those primary struts would be. And then we're gonna get some wooden fence, some oak fence, because to use a stone fence here wouldn't look quite right, I think. And we're gonna get oak fence up. One, two, three, and four high. And I'm just gonna go along the entirety of this building up for high. So here we've created a series of platforms which will actually look really, really quite nice. We've got this L-shaped platform here that we were just finishing off. On top of that L-shaped platform at the end, we've created a third platform, which is a relatively small one we're gonna use for something a little bit special a little bit later on. And we've opened up this in here. This has gone four deep lined with oak wood. And this has matched up that gap just over here which is gonna act as the stairs. And we're gonna put the stairs in now because by putting the stairs in now, that gives us the ability to assess the space we have for the rest of the build. So first off, we're just gonna line three lots of stairs and these stairs, they're gonna match with the, um, the platform. So as it all merges in and we'll do some trimming. So don't worry about it looking just a little bit jutty outy. We're gonna do plenty of trimming to be able to make it look like it actually belongs where it is. And then you're going to repeat that for all three of these stair systems so i will be back when i have done that and what you might find you have to do is dig a hole in the platform for the very lowest ones because they get very tricky when you get lower than your head height and we put the stairs into these three platforms so the top stairs there go all the way up to the top and we've trimmed them off with two blocks of wood there then coming down here these stairs come all the way down trim them off with two blocks of wood there and then finally the stairs that lead up to the entire base from the floor start there and you'll notice we have not put in the final steps there's a good reason for that and that will come a little bit later and it is all associated with just a little little tiny bit more security so that's that part now what we're going to do is create a little extra building on this part here now this is going to be quite nice because we've got a relatively small space here you imagine we've got one two three four five six seven which is perfect because that's exactly the size i like to play with so we're going to go one two three four and come down one two three and four and then we're going to come across one two three and four and here one two three and four create the cross struts and we're going to try and create a building that is of a similar style to the primary building down on the first level but isn't quite the same and it's going to have a very specific function but we're not quite ready to give you that function yet like that so we've got a nice seven by seven box that is four high and inside that we're going to do some fairly familiar things and we're going to get some cobble now we get some cobble and we're going to come across one two Leave a gap, one, two, and then all the way around. And 
another row of five cobble, which gives us a very compact and bijou three by three hole in the middle. But that's exactly what we want. So don't you worry that you think that that's just a little bit too small. That's perfect. And we're just gonna edge it off as we normally do. Exactly like that. Then on the back here, we're gonna get some glass. I'm gonna stick a pane of glass there, there and there. And similarly, we're gonna put a pane of glass there, there and there. So that gives us a really nice wide window because this is quite a small build, remember, it's gonna be quite a wide window. Now this is where we're gonna just diversify ever so slightly and we're gonna get ourselves the oakwood planks and we're gonna put oakwood planks either side on this level like this, which keeps the cobble, you can see through those windows, you can see the cobble still, and that's nice. I want that. This is what we want to be able to see is this cobble. So complete this wall as a whole, so this has not got a window in it. And then on this side, this also hasn't got a window. We're gonna have a door. Again, we're gonna use oak door, and that door's gonna come in there. Open door to come through like that and then here we're going to start to edge the top with spruce wood planks because we want to bring again a slightly different color into our build so let's get some spruce wood planks like that and now what we're going to do is we're going to get spruce wood slab which is there and we're going to put a spruce wood slab under there so it just softens that ever so slightly and gives a bit of a matching feel to the stairs that form at the bottom so along that side as well so we are nearly there then we need to continue with this spruce wood theme and we're going to get spruce wood stairs and with this being the front we are going to create spruce wood stair rail one two three four five and six i didn't get that first one there did i there and then we're going to come around the other side we're going to do exactly the same thing one two three four five six and seven like that and then we're going to create again a gabled roof on the top and we're also the same as we did with the other house we're going to stick but this time just one row of cobble to make the gable end so i'll be back when i've done that we've finished that roof off and we've put in you can see there we've put in the gable ends a little bit indented to give a little bit of depth and texture which we always like very very much so we've got we've reversed the gable ends on here if you recall were made out of spruce wood the gable ends on here are made out of oak wood and we've got spruce wood underneath the beams rather than over them it's a really really simple little hut and it's got a very specific purpose it's very space efficient we're going to come inside open the door you can see we've got an anvil we've got a chest We've got some glowstone purely for light. We've got a crafting table. Then we've got this block here. And this block takes us up here, which takes us to our enchanting table. All of this block here is, yep, that is bookcases. So that gives a fully charged enchantment table inside here. How cool is that? So we've got an enchantment room in our base already. We are starting to get things going. What are we going to do next? The next important thing that you always need on a base is food. So we're going to build just a very basic little farming field raising up the level here and then we're going to get some dirt and we're going to fill all of that in with some dirt so that's full of dirt and then we're going to count how many we've got because you may have gone ever so slightly longer or shorter so you, we have now one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen lots of dirt so we're going to come along we're going to go one two three cut that out and then from the other end, we're going to come in, we're going to go one, two, three, cut that out. And that gives us a gap in the middle of one, two, three, four, five, which is absolutely fine. We're then going to get a bucket of water and we're going to fill those holes with a bucket of water. And then nothing more complicated than getting our hoe and making sure we've sealed the whole lot. That is one nicely ploughed field. Get some seeds and let's just sow these seeds in here. And then finally, we just need to get ourselves some light under here because it's not going to work very well unless we've got light. There we go. So we've got plenty of light now on that garden and that's going to grow us some wheat very, very nicely. So this base is starting to come along beautifully. So you can see we've gone around 
all of the edges we've increased the height of those wooden posts by one so as the the actual fencing can connect into wooden posts exactly where we've got those struts so that looks really cool we've put a torch on all of the open logs so as they give us a little bit more light within the build i think it's coming on really really well this video is getting too long so we're going to close this up now and we're going to do a part two and finish this base in part two which i will be releasing very very soon if you've enjoyed this video please do make sure you hit that like button really really hard it'll be amazing 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 to know that you've been enjoying the video also if you haven't already make sure you hit the sub button and then you can see all of my videos by hitting notifications and I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy now. Bye.